Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Hob. Last week, we ended up going through the Desert of the Real, i.e. we went underground and brought up this entire underground area, and then we got angry because we're like, but what? There's got to be more. And uh, I think that we need to kind of learn the game's philosophy here, which is you just need to go with the flow. So we're going to go, we're going with the flow now. We're feeling a little bit better about ourselves as a result. Um, and we're just taking our time with things now. Or at least, at the very, very least, we are trying to not be uh, too bad at this video game. So we're going to go ahead and bounce up. Not bounce up here? Like, this seems infinitely climbable. But okay. Let's go down this way instead. So we're trying to just figure our way out and around this place. One step at a time. We beat this buzz boss from earlier. Not a problem. At least I didn't think it was. And now we're just trying to figure our way around. Like we're just, again, we're just going with the flow in here, baby. If we manage to just make this work the way that the game intended, then we'll have a good experience instead of trying to fight it and look for another Dark Souls or another Hollow Knight. I have just found our fast travel tube. Beautiful stuff. Let's go back to our first tra fast travel tube for a second here and just see whether or not we can afford that other upgrade that we picked up earlier. If I hadn't bought it already, I'm not sure. Because we've got the green stuff now to buy something if it's, uh, if it's available. Warp Trap is 100 green things. Rightio. How about we leave that be then? Uh, and since that tube on the far right is change your costume and we don't even have the gold stuff to buy a costume, you know, that could be a thing. However, I'm getting the feeling that we're starting to find the uh, the sprites, the the emblem things that, were, that are our currency, that times two thing on the left. We're starting to find those a little bit more regularly. That's a good thing. If we start finding those a little bit more regularly, like we start getting up to like four or five, we're going to start stockpiling our green stuff. Easy kills. Kill that. Kill that. Kill. Dodge. Miss. That's fine. This stab attack, by the way, is bananas. It is so easy to just do quickly from a distance and then run. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Look, that made those two guys look easy. Remember the first time I went up against those guys? I was just like, oh my god. And now it's just like, yeah, who cares? All right, hit the button. Let's get this bridge up and running. Yeah, buddy. All right. And then we can climb up the here, I think. Please. Thank you. Now, if I remember correctly, this chest has no way up. Unless if it's up on the left side of it there. On the right side there, sorry. It seems like it, but we can't... Climb up past that point. And, like, yeah, I, I can see the chest, but... You're not making it an easy find. Is there an, any, is there an easy way to get to that log? Might be another good question. Maybe we missed an opportunity with the log there. Hold on. That's a definite no-no. And then I exploded? Pardon? I exploded? That was weird. I was not expecting to explode upon entering that... Uh, upon uh, jumping into that thing. That seems unwise. Alright, well... That's what happened. I exploded, so we'll make do. Alrighty, we can just walk in there and continue on our merry way. But I, I gotta, I gotta understand if there's more to this place. Yeah, run! I see you trying to murder me. Thank you for exploding. Okay, well. Another little wall here. As long as those tendrils don't flip and move. It's another core. Hand me the core. Punch that robot's face 
out of the back of its face and then grab the core and we're good to go that's got that's a little weird isn't it i'm gonna punch this robot in the you know i'm gonna punch this robot's face so hard in the face yeah, you know what bite me um okay no okay that's fine still you know that was an easy core why not uh, that is open and good to go, and this is not available to enter or otherwise use. And there's nothing there. There's nothing there! <laughs> Those things scare me because they instant kill me, so uh, if you're wondering why uh, I'm being a little bit weird, that's why. Alright, well, this is obviously going to turn into nothing. Yeah, okay. But like, there's all this stuff that's like, I can't figure out how to get to it. Yes, it's very pretty. You know what? Don't think about it too hard. That's the other thing. I overthink stuff constantly. Let's just go. Breathe in. And out. And just go into the thing that's telling you to go into very, very obviously. You idiot. Well. That was hard. So, what are we doing here exactly? Wait, there was a thing there? There was a thing there! I feel okay about this. God damn it. <laughs> There's a thing there this whole time? I didn't see that. Okay. There we go. At least I can swim. That's good. It's not like Absolver where the instant you touch water, you insta die. So that's nice. For a second there, I thought though the water was like lethal. Like I I'm used now to uh, water being lethal for reasons. There's gotta be another way up there. Like they want to give me a save point just so that way I could uh, collect a piece of heart. Also, that weird bird frog in the bottom right is the most adorable thing I'd seen since that turtle in the last episode. Like I'm thrilled to bits that it exists. Okay, here it is, here it is. You see that? You see that? That there is a jumping platforming segment. I'm okay with this. Alright, and this is going to bring that thing on the left down. And it's going to bring a ladder up. Nice. So it doesn't give you any wall climbs. You can't do it yourself. Like, like the... Like, I've got to give credit where credit's due on that front. This game is making the platforming segments very easy. Like, there's consistent shortcuts. At no point in this game should anyone be going, Well, if you don't like puzzle platforms, this one isn't the one for you. I mean, they're probably right. But at the same time, it's like... They, they are really kind. Like, they are not making this difficult. Okay, we should be able to just... Oh, almost lost it. But we got that chest, baby. It's an upgrade. Alrighty, what is this one? Punch slam. Ground slam knocks back enemies. That might make the punch a little bit more reasonable, to be fair. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk off and do that if that's okay with you, game. Oh, right, and then the lack of contextual anything makes it so that way I can't... Yeah, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, that's probably a lot farther than it looks, that ladder. I was entirely correct. The good news is that there's a ton of water, so that's nice. And again, they make this very painless. Like, we've gotten this shortcut a little while ago, and you can sprint up ladders. So it's just like... Puzzle platforming segment that went wrong. Oh no, I guess I'll just go right back to my last saved area. That's good design. Right, it's not it's not contextual, so as a result, okay. Oops. And that was death. Okay, good stuff. I love death, except for I don't. 
Oh, they even gave me a respawn up here. They knew I'd fuck up. How kind of them. Please let me up. Thank you. Alright, so the plan is, we're going to start going when it's about, I'd say, uh, 30 degrees to the right. Go! And it's going to work like a goddamn dream. Fantastic. I love it when a plan comes together and it's the plan you've just made up. Alright, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to walk in. And then we're going to walk out with all the money. Oh, it's the easiest plan I've ever heard. Where'd you come up with a plan like that? Yes, the door shut, and you're very surprised, admittedly, but, uh... The fuck? You are super cute. Why are you getting close to that thing? It is not making that thing happy, whatever it is. What? What? Very cool. I'm happy to see that the big sprite man is... Adorable. <laughs> the little, little, little sprites all over the place. With big, op overexposed brains. Why? I'm now in the center of a circle of a bunch of small creatures that can sing things to death. They've marked something on my map, however, which is very nice of them. Thank you. They are very happy? Oh, yeah, that's a ladder? Yeah, I see you, buddy. Don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that ladder immediately. We goose me, bud. We goose me. So there's just this big dude. This big sprite dude. And it's very pretty. And they marked the location on my map because a little guy sang. Got rid of the jelly barrier surrounding the bug. And now everything's fine. The suicidal elk guys are not fine. They are very, like, super infected still. But, you know, that's par for the course, really. Alright, alright, alright. Excuse me? Thank you. So now I can get to this side. And this does nothing at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> Why? Screw me if I know. Ow. Poison cloud. Gotta remember, they're all suicide sacks now. Um, nothing there. Although, the section to the right of that one area is now open. So that's certainly something, at least. Yeah, don't worry, little sprite guys. I got that already when it was super dangerous to do so, and I feel like a badass for having managed. So what's in here, then? This is a chest. It is a chest. Give me the loot. I need the loot. It's another upgrade. I can't help but realize that you're not giving me a ton of green things. Speeds energy recovery, but it reduces HP. That would make it so I could use my teleport and my punches maybe a bit more often, which would be nice, actually. Plus, it's a six shade of purple, so I'm not going to be la I'm not going to be mad about it. There's a sprite. I like that. So that brings us up to three now. And we need at least eight for the one. You have a boomerang? 
I don't care about the boomerang at all. You are still super dead because my stabby attack is way too good. <laughs> just, just stab things and have good aim and you're good to go, apparently. Alright. Come on, do a stabby. Oh, come on. Alright, well I've been stabbed somewhat and it hurts, admittedly. Let's rethink my um my strategy with these guys. I think I can just block him. Dodge rolling works best. Because it gives you ample opportunity to just go in and wail on him. Okay, so just... I was blocking? Excuse me? Yeah, you just... Those guys you can't stab. That's unfortunate. But, um... That's good, probably, considering that otherwise this game would probably get real boring real fast if I could just do the same thing over and over again to win. Okay. This opens up that vault door. This seems like a secret kind of area. I don't know why they... Ah! ah! Stupid spines. So this door did not open. It's important to note. Wow! Oh, that guy was very happy about having killed me. You know what? You're a jerk. You're a jerk and a rascal. Um. Okay, so to get back there, we need to go up, around, and down. Feel like I'm going through this backwards somehow. There we go. Excuse me. I'm trying to get up here so that way I can kill our buggy friend. Which he is now dead. So now it's time for you, Jokers. Where I ground pounded the crap out of you, a move I've forgotten about, and doesn't do anything, never mind. And in the meantime, I actually blew up his shield doing that, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, so you can just break his shield. That's definitely the best way to kill those guys. Never mind. Just don't worry about the blue bugs. The blue bugs are passive, they're fine, they don't do anything bad to you. If you don't do anything bad to them, then it's all good. Now with all that purple stuff dead, at least in this area, that hopefully opens up some secrets for us. That, that would be the most ideal situation, I think. Uh, that doesn't seem to turn into much. No. Nope. We've been there, done that. That was last episode. Okay. But... Like, there's gotta be more, right? But this is big circular thing. Last time we came across a big circular thing, it moved. It span around. It did stuff and things. Mother Umper, why will you not let me find all the secrets in your areas? I wish to see the whole world. But you're being very mean about it. I want to see all that ye have to offer me. That sounds a bit of a stretch. In terms of gameplay, fuck me! Come on! <laughs> ah. Okay, look, this is not hard. You just stop being an idiot. Go to the right, then back down, then jump, and then here we are. 
for that piece of flippin' cake. Sorry for scaring you, Sprite Man. Now, with that said... Now what? I can spin it around at my leisure? Is that what you're saying? Let's go! Look at that. <laughs> I, that was cute. Just all three of them. Pew! I don't want it anymore. Alright, and what do you do? Well, you spin right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby. Um, which revealed an open area underneath. Of interest. Hey there, little guy. Hi. There's like a bajillion of you. We have to wonder what they are, but like... <clears throat> They're cute, but they are a little strange, right? Like the colors that they that they use for those white and pink are uh, one of those color combinations I associate with like Tyranids from the Warhammer 40k universe. The I think fourth or edition rules were, uh, or like the fourth edition brought about like a new age for those ca for those um, particular aliens. One that. Made it so it was like High Fleet Leviathan or something like that. It was it was one of the High Fleets, but one of them was like like a purple with a hint of, like, with like a decent hint of pink in it, and then like this bone kind of ghastly pale white kind of thing. Admittedly, super neat. However, it was also one of those things where it was like, hey, you know. That's a, that's kind of a weird color combination, and it, it, it comes across in a way that is, uh, definitely like that. Yes, been there, done that before. We've seen this. Why do you want me to be so slow? So, now we've got Rusty Guy here. There's gotta be a way to get there! Now there's no more purple crap anywhere. Like, I'm super confused. You know what? You gotta go up and around. That's gotta be it. And it's like a big up and around, too. It's not one of the small ones. It's like, oh, yes, it's a tiny detour. No, this one's gonna take a year. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hello. Yes, my little sprightly friends. They make cute noises, uh, out of all the things, though, I've noticed. Which, admittedly, is not exactly, like, you know, top priority when it comes to a video game. Oh, look, you make cute noises! Right, there's a chest, I remember now. But, but they do. They're like, bloop, 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 and they're cute, and they're funny, and they bounce around and teleport, and... They're probably god-powerful, but, like are adverse to violence, and so as a result, violence solves everything, as is the video game rule at this point. Uh, you think you've got a chance? Excuse me? I baited you into an attack, and then, uh, killed you. It was easy. I can just punch you and straight up kill you? That's fine by me. I don't mind. Yeah, that's easy enough. Okay. So long as you aim them properly, those jump attacks can do a lot of damage as well while you're locked on. So it's not all about just stabbing people in the face, I suppose. Granted, running and stabbing people in the face is still really easy to do, though. So keep that in mind. Why am I here? So we climb up here and then... Like, we see stuff. That's great. It's nice. Oh, fuck. Ah, that's a... Briar patch. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and save everybody a little time here and just respawn. <laughs> we don't need to see me explode from uh, landing on a rose bush. I mean, you guys probably wanted to see that. Now that I think about it, I should have let that happen. But 
Just, you know, go with the flow. Let it be, let it be. I'm really bad about that, though. Even after, like, starting meditation, I, it's a habit I need to, like, really keep up properly, and I have not been. But, um... You know, despite having started that whole uh, shindig, I really should just do it more often. And, and, and keep in mind that mindset is actually helpful in a variety of different places. Okay... Yeah, there's nothing there else that I can see. Really. Hidden camera angles are no. Oh, good. There's stairs. Come on. That's right. Get duns. And there's a stab. And there's a punch. That was, a, that was a good attack, sir. I'll admit to that. But I will also stab you in the face when I get the chance. Thank you. That'll do. It wasn't exactly the stab I was looking for, but I'll, I'll take it. Alright, so we got, like, just a bajillion thorn vines all over the place. My favorite mechanic in this game so far. Yes, I, uh... Yep. Yeah, okay, that was a jump moment. That's fine. I understand now. Interesting setup. Okay. So we need to go around some more. Still haven't found our way up. Aha! Damn. Alright, well, this is an interesting situation. We got the guy bombing us from above, and then those two guys are blocking the way. Honestly, I'm tempted to just run past them. We're all the way back here, huh? Alright, well, this is, I guess, the, this game's equivalent of a boss fight. It's just trickier sections like this, which is fine. Up you get. Come on. Alrighty. So, shield man. Dodge. Dodged. Get up here instead. We'll deal with those two jokers later when we're not being bombarded. When we're not being bombarded. There we go. Good stuff. So, we managed to knock the other guy down into the thorns. His body did not explode from being stuck in a bunch of thorns. I find this upsetting. That takes energy to block, huh? I can see why blocking is not necessarily a great move. takes energy to block. That's not super cool, though. Okay. So dodging, punching away their shields, all that kind of stuff, that's all useful, but the most important thing to do is just avoid their attacks. Okay, well, that's good. They do give you a dodge roll button in this game, so that goes without saying, I suppose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now what? I guess we head up this way, huh? Head up to the right, down through the, you know, maze of thorns. There's probably a song in there somewhere. Alright, let's turn this puppy on. Do I need to do it again? Okay, I'm going to assume that I've punched it enough times and that it lit up on the left for a reason. There's now, like, a switch here or something, I can tell. There is! Okay! 
So why are there switches? How do we know to turn on all this stuff? Or how to turn it on or how to do anything? No idea. Very cool. Alright, and completely changed the world. It is a brand new level. A brand new world. A whole fantastic point of view. No one to tell us where to go. No. Who to know where to go? I don't you know what my Disney songs are a little bit off right now. I, I don't know where they are. And we're back in the Stormlands. The tentacles still exist here as well, which is a thing. Wow. You're a chump. Would fight you again. Will fight you again, more like. Piece of cake? Yeah, kinda. They don't even attack anymore. They don't even bother. You know what? That's probably best for them anyway. So we're back in the Stormlands, and it seems that the infection was only killed in one area. Which is fine. It would have been nice if it was in more areas. Th that leads me to believe, though, maybe there's more sprites in other areas that allow us to kill the infection off in all of the places, eventually? Yeah, I don't get stabbed by that. Seems like a bad plan. So, what else is up this way, then? There's a save point. There's open areas. There's... A guy that flew? Uh, pardon? Who do you think you are? That you can fly? Wait, where did you come from? That's a sheer cliff face into, into a bright abyss. Where did you come from? I legit, like, just... Pardon? <laughs> On top of the guy that screamed eternally for several years... I'm a, I'm a little uh, confused. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll make do. Uh, let's head up this way, because that's what the game's telling us to do. And that's uh, always the good thing to do. Oh, hello. Wait a tick. The sprite's dead. Wow! That's why the sprite's dead, huh? Whoa, who are you? And why are you so much stronger than I am? Boy, would I like to have participated in that. Uh, where do you, who, what? Could someone explain to me what just happened? Pardon? Like, there's a dude who we've killed like a bajillion times before. It's not exactly a surprising dude anymore. I'm gonna be frank with you. This should not have been like the woe moment was the dead sprite dude. It's the first one we've ever seen. And then up and comes this lady from nowhere. From absolutely nowhere. With all the flippin' answers. Punch. What up? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Did you want to get punched? Go from a distance and then get him to roll. And then chop him up. Piece of cake. Alright, give me some HP while you're at it, please. Thank you. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! No stabbing for you! Alright, let's go kill another one of these bugs. Come on, buddy. Sing...
Oh no! He sang so beautifully, I fell down! And look at my eyeball, it has now been stabbed. Great, it's two out of seven. Sweet. And that gives me another sprite as well. Okay, good, so that's now four. What are you showing me? Alright, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick it up, whatever it is. But, um... Now that there aren't a bunch of things trying to stab me constantly in this area, maybe there's something to explore. Hey, it's, our wa it's a walker. Where'd this walker come from? I'm not saying no. I like the walker. The walker's a friend as far as I'm concerned. But, like, I thought we already did, like, the Stormlands. Alright, so we turned on this area for what it's worth. Yeah. That's gonna turn that on when we power it up. To power it up, we're gonna hop on here. Teleport, go over to the left. It's gonna give us the opportunity to teleport again. Uh huh. I see! We should not have turned that yet. Alright, let's try that again. Because we need to go across there, you see. So, teleport. Ah! Pardon? Okay, well, okay. We can't teleport across that way either. That's fine. I'll just... Spin it. Ah. No, it has to be all the way, eh? So you teleport over there, and then you want to teleport there, but it doesn't want to move... Oh, you moron! There's more! You absolute tool. There's more. You just need to go to the left like a tiny bit, and look at this. Piece of flipping cake! Which turns on that thing. Which allows me to go over and do... what now? Where do I put this thing exactly? It's not gonna go in there. We know that. You get the feeling it's supposed to go up there. Who knows how? Wait, part of me? Okay, hold on. This puzzle's actually intriguing. I've made a mistake. So. We teleport through there, no problem. We then come up this way. If we hit this button, it spews out a power thing. Great. The power thing needs to go across a little ways. The power thing needs to go in there. So let's pick it up. And low. This will be the last thing we do this episode, I swear to God. So then we put it in here. Which then turns on the switch at the very bottom. Which allows me to spin this thing back up. And I have the switch available. Which then I push the button. No, I don't stab the button. I push the button. Which spins how that goes. Which then allows me to teleport all over the place. Now I feel like a goddamn genius. Okay. That was not difficult. But like, that's the first puzzle where it's like, oh, you act there's actually a sequence in an order of events you have to keep in mind and do. It's probably the toughest puzzle in the game so far, which I admittedly isn't saying much. But, um... 
It's a thing. Yes. Very, very inspired. Okay. So let's go ahead and take our walker around and see what happens now that we got this move up and running. Squish. Do, 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 do. Squish and squash. Squish and squash. Squish and squash. Now I go through here and then I do what? I power this up. That switch that we couldn't power up before? It's now powered up. Wow! Then lets me do what? All that. Let's me do all that then. Alright, so this is the area where we had that lady come and help us. Yeef. Gross. This used to be a fast travel station? But like, it's not one anymore, so it's not very helpful for me right now. Oh, it's another one of you. You have armor! Good, dodge me. And then stabby. You're tougher! You actually took hits! It required mobility to take you out. You give me the same reward, however, so that leaves me feeling a little bit s -s salty. Alright, open up this puppy. It's been a long episode. Um, We're gonna stay up here where it's safe for now. We're gonna call an episode here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. And if you want to see some more, subscribe for more videos. I'll see you folks next time.